Item 3, uh, province of license plan. And I take it that in our agenda, the people listed are the, are the people that's on the committee. The people listed on the agenda are the people on the committee. Well, the last year, yeah. yeah. Well, for the vacancy, but that's no change in our house, okay? I've actually visited this. If you get a step at the time of the bar, so yeah. And third? The electricity is changing the same for our new car, of course. Yes. Can I just tell you to check that clearly there is more? There is, <laughs> there is a um, panel uh, that has been um, set for Monday Friday in relation to that. I'll come back on the panel. On the panel, that I've submitted the names where you come from. Taxi prime Okay? So, so, uh, so I tell you just to clarify. This guy got taxi prime. The gentleman's here. We want to know all the names so the committee clerk can and give the agendas out to people that's going to come on Friday morning. Alright? So, do you know the conservative name? I think in relation to Friday's hearing, we just need some clarity as to the name of the full list of the members that are available because we are looking to have a full panel on Friday to hear the applications. Yes, so if Councillor Hopkins, yes, we would be happy to accompany the deputy. Sat were made up of 12 members, 
and we're not in the political constitution that was written uh, in the Freedom of Navigation. And that's it in very brief summary. So I think what was trying to be emphasized was that um, if you're determined this evening that the licensing panel is to be made up of four Labour councillors, two Conservative councillors and one Liberal Democrat councillor, that when we sit, that is what needs to be the case. Um, it would be a different matter if we were looking at purely a committee that or a panel deemed to be made up of seven members. Um, the Constitution refers to the licensing panel and says that it uh, can be made up of seven members but is quartered with three members. However, in the light of the recent case, um, it would be advisable that we sit if you were inclined to continue at this point with the deliberation and to keep it to make sure that those members do turn up in that format. Can I just add to that that the issue raised has has you know is in the process of being discussed with the head of the implications uh, for the council generally. And I think for the panel until there's a, a clear ruling on the issue that uh, any panel that would sit up until that point to try and follow the specific um, proportionality and the number of members for each party and for the committee that those are fully complied with prior right, to the um, to the uh, to the room being reconsidered. Can you hold that?
Members also approve the fire sacrifice vehicle license provision, which was further resolved that any new makes of vehicle be presented, that be presented for licensing should be the subject of a report to the committee to determine whether it meets the council's license conditions and are there approved. And a copy of the license conditions are attached to appendix A of the report. Um, Ms. Morrell has um, applied for two licenses to be made for vehicle, for the Catholic Irish vehicle, and it's called the Pledge of Euro Taxes. And a copy of the vehicle brochure is attached to the report as appendix B. Um, the vehicle has brought the import vehicle tax approval to no more requirements, and the UCA um, certificate is attached as appendix C. Uh, tax approval is a system for testing and approving motor vehicles and controlling conform conformity of production to be consistent with the approved type. <coughs> um, under the tax approval system, uh, M1 category for the delayed passenger carrying vehicles um, that have no more than 80 seats and additional fleet where the driver's seat. Um, officers have inspected the vehicle and satisfied that it complies with the Catholic Irish vehicle conditions. Um, and members have also had the opportunity to inspect the vehicle this evening. Any questions from Marvin? Yes, uh, and it's regarding the full seat, if the green lights are available, would that be included? Yes, it would normally uh, be included by the seat. The um, majority of our license vehicles do have the option to have the full seat. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, I've just got one query. On, in Appendix A, um, 17 of the luggage, page 35, it does say that provision must be made for the carrying of luggage and it must be kept separate from the passenger seating area. I couldn't see anywhere where you could put, say, two suitcases. I mean, looking at the back, the boot was open. It wasn't really a boot, it was a very small space. So, where does luggage go? Um, the luggage does normally go behind the back seats. Um, if the front seat is utilised in some vehicles, it's a slip-up seat and the luggage can be placed in that compartment, but in this vehicle, the compartment is absolutely behind the two uh, horses and three horses. <coughs> so what size suitcase? Because if you, you know, you've got a taxi that big that takes up to seven, eight people, you might have like four people with a couple of suitcases. Isn't this something that, that I think is, is, a, is an issue really? Well, can I just, I just want to ask Mr. Marnell to take a seat there and if you, want, if you can try to comment on a couple of things and maybe yeah. other members might ask you more questions. Um, in this, this is a short wheelbase version of Hackney. Uh, you can't tell them. It's a short wheelbase long taxi. They do come in a long wheelbase. So the, the driver themselves actually order a vehicle to the specifications of what they're going to be using for. Um, in this version, yes, the seats are fixed. It is optional to have sliding fitted seats. They did put in another 300 pound, so it can be done. Um, but, you know, we brought this vehicle as a budget cab to make it as cheap as possible for the driver because not everybody comes to us luggage. You know, there's lots of LTI taxis now and you've got no boots, full stop. So, you know, there's no storage. And they're going to use that vehicle in the same manner of what anyone would have with them. They have that price to, you know, to keep it cheaper. If a person wants a long wheelbase, then they tell me it's your five hundred pounds for the long wheelbase, and that would not be an issue at all. Again, that's what five hundred pounds do for us. Well, you know that is the way the Euro taxi comes. So you know we we can basically tweak it. We can put a uh, hip up seat in the front, which will create a lot of space, and we can do a long wheelbase, and we can also. Um,
with this particular vehicle, what it's saying is that um, there's been reference to the uh, long wheelbase version. And when they refer to that in the literature, it says um, models are available in the longer bus version for even more luggage space. So that implies that there is luggage space. Um, could we could we clarify? Um, my understanding is that on, on some vehicles, um, some vehicles that have the license, um, the provision for luggage space has to be given and it has to be done separately. Sometimes that is done with a um, box on the top, I've forgotten the exact name of what that's called, but a roof box, sorry. Luggage box. Luggage box, yes. Also, um, I think in, in terms of um, the old style hackney carriage vehicles where there isn't a seat in the front, um, it was quite traditional for the luggage to go into that space. Um, can I ask a question? Is the provision, even though there isn't a seat there, is the provision for luggage to go in that compartment area? We basically bought a flip off seat in the front. Um, yes. The whole front compartment comes um, storage area, and that's what the license for to go to the front of the house the uh, All the E7 taxis, they store all the luggage in the front, and they have the seats for any full back position, which the shore of the taxi is in the back. Sorry, could you clarify that? I'm not, not so the, you're talking about taking that full seat out? Yeah, well, the, the full oh, seat, right. the bulkhead is designed mm -hmm. to carry a flip-down seat like the rear of the, you know, the rear flip-down seats. So it can actually carry a flip-down seat there, which will create full room space for you. So, you know, that is an option. No, but it's, 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 it can be taken off. Yes. So, it's, so that would it enable it to comply with the if there was a flip of a seat in the front, okay? I mean, if basically we had an issue with, with the luggage compartment, you'd say, right, if it's a long wheelbase, you don't need that. If you, if you do need uh, a luggage space, then we have to have a flip of seat in the front of the luggage area, that's fine. Can I just say something about that? Going back some time ago, Just, just to clarify it, John. 